Hey guys and welcome back to another game maker tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at how to create a nuclear throne style lighting system. Now this system looks really cool, it fits in pixel art, especially in indie games, um, those of which are uh, retro and it's just a really nice effect if you don't want to go with a simple plain um, lighting system. So I'll have some footage on the screen right now regarding how it looks like in nuclear throne and some other games I've created. So, um, if you're interested, yeah, feel free to continue watching this video. Now, we're going to be using surfaces in this uh, tutorial. And as you can see here on the screen, I have a little RPG game here. Now, at the moment, it contains no lighting. As you can see, my player does not have any lighting. And um, uh, I can walk around here. And it looks kind of plain. So, we're going to see how we can enhance this system um, by adding some sweet little lighting effects. Now, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to create like a Zelda style game, like as you can see on the screen right here, feel free to leave a comment, it really helps out. And yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is, oh, one thing to state is that um, if you have a different game, like it doesn't have to be RPG, so you can have like a platformer, uh, maybe a puzzle game, but you want to um, focus on a specific object and put some lighting effects on it. It'll, it'll work as long as you have an object to uh, light up. So we're, we're going to create an object called O Lighting, or some people might like OBJ, but I'm just going to go with O. Alright, O Lighting. And in the create event, we're going to drag in a code block. And here we're going to create a surface that is the size of the room. So we're going to type in here surf, the sign is just to the variable surf, and then surface underscore create with the room width and room height. Those are the two, two parameters. Now the next two are to basically just to clear the surface and make sure that there's nothing um, else that we don't want to be inside the surface. So you want to type in your surface, set target to surf, and draw clear alpha to z uh, the black color and zero. Cool. The, the final oops, what did I just do? Final line of code in the create event is just to reset to application service. If you if you're not too familiar with the surfaces, I recommend you check out Heart Beast's um, tutorials. They're really helpful, and they will really help you understand what's going on in this tutorial. So I'm in surface reset target. All right, sick. Now let's go into the step event, and here's where all our main code is going to be. So first of all, let's check if the surface exists and put in the name of your surface which is the surface which is what we created in the, in the create event so if it exists we're gonna set surface set target just up All right. now we're gonna start by creating the dark overlay so um, it's gonna be the screen is gonna be dark and the lighting is just gonna light it up a little bit so we're gonna set Draw set color. Um, see black. Make make sure we add a bit of comments. So just say here, draw the dark overlay. I mean set actually not draw. Cause we're in the step event. Set. Sorry. All right, cool. And then we're gonna make it. Um, not too dark. So we want to make an opacity to 0.8. Now this can be adjusted depending on your game and how you would like it to look. Rectangle. And this is just going to draw the rectangle uh, that fills up our screen. So 0, 0, room width. And room height. And zero. Now this is saying um, this is the 
x value for the top left corner. This is the y value for the so the x value for the top uh, bottom right corner. And yeah, so here's we're just defining where we want our black rectangle. And this zero is just saying no, we do not want a outline. Cool. Now we want to draw the circles. So it's it. Alright, so we're going to turn here with, no, not with, sorry. Let's do draw, set, blend, mode. And we're going to set this to subtract. Feel free to, um, as you can see, there's a lot of options here. Uh, I reckon subtract looks the best. However, if you have a different option, feel free to use that. Draw, set, color. And this is the white. Now the reason there's a reason why I'm doing white. I'll show you later. So here it's gonna say. Now we will actually draw the circles. So we're gonna say with. Now in this uh in these brackets we're gonna um type in the the object that we want to light up. So it's gonna have like a circle around that object. So we're gonna have the main character, which is the O hero, and if you have like O player or Sometimes we use O camera, feel free to use that. And we're talking here draw circle. Oops, sorry. And the X is going to be X plus. Now, in the nuclear throne, the light actually flickers. It actually flickers a little bit. So to do this, there's something in random underscore range. Negative one to one. So it just gives it that little um, shake and it really adds a nice effect to that. For our y value, we're going to do the same thing. y plus random underscore range, negative 1 to 1. So let me just enlarge this a little bit. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to do the uh, 30 plus random underscore range, negative 1. Now this is just the radius to see how large we want the circle. Now 30 once again is an adjustable number. This is uh, it's kind of big, but of course it's up to you. Um, false because we don't want an outline. And now that's that's it for now. Alright, now we've got the circle done, and let's. Wait, there's one thing we need to do as well. With, no, actually no, we're done. So one time here, draw. We want to reset all of um, the set draws. So we want to draw, set, blend mode. Oops. To BM novel. The reason why we um, we're doing this is because if our other objects have different uh, draw options then this will override it and that's not what we, what we want so we want to just set that back to the defaults so draw set alpha back to 1 which is full opacity and surface reset target alright cool now our if statement is if the surface exists surf so all right, now if we if it doesn't exist, then we're gonna create it. So surf equals surface create room width and room. Now this is just to make sure that the surface is actually created because in some instances they don't actually create, which is quite a pain in the butt sometimes. And we're gonna once again surface set target surf draw clear alpha basically everything we did in the create event see black zero and then surface reset target nice cool so that's it for the step event let's go into our draw event drag in a code block and in here we're just gonna draw the surface. 
Now, once again, we, we want to make sure that there is a surface. So if surface doesn't exist, then we're going to create one. Sorry for my slow typing. I'm not too fast. Surface underscore create room underscore height. Oh, sorry. Thing. And room height. Alright, else, if it does exist, then just make sure that the view, the current view, is equal to zero. Then we're going to draw surface surf zero zero. Alright, now one thing we want to do is just to prevent memory leaks is when the room ends we are just gonna destroy the surface so clean up um, wait. destroy surface if surface exists so. now the reason why we're doing surface exists is just to avoid any errors if the player is playing it surface free Okay, I think we're done. Now let's make sure we put that in our in our room and run the game. Now as you can see right here it's it looks a bit dodgy right now. We can adjust a few options. Sorry about that. Alright, so go back to here. Now probably what's the main problem is that I think it's a little bit too much. Let's make this 0 0.4. Uh, let's make this. Alright, let's see how this looks right now. Alright, now it's a little better. Now we can make this bigger and add some cool effects. Now you can see here it actually shakes a little bit. Um, it follows you. And the screen is kind of darker in a way. Now obviously we have to tweak a lot of things. So in the lighting step event, we're going to in draw circles. Instead of making it third, make it 60. And also one thing we need to do is make sure that the depth is negative 99. Now um, in Nuclear Throne, there's like kind of like two circles. And there's an outer one, which is uh, less opacity. And there's an inner one which has a high opacity. So we're going to um, see if we can recreate that effect. It's not that hard. So we're gonna, instead of a draw set color, we're going to make that C underscore black instead of white. Alright, and let's move this here. Like so. And then in this is going to be the outer circle, right? So the outer circle is going to be black. It's going to be draw set alpha. We're gonna make sure that this is at a low opacity, so zero point two. And also I've also increased the black overlay to zero point seven. Okay, zero point two for the outer circle. And what else do we need to do? Okay, I think that's good enough. And let's copy this code here. And for our next circle, we're gonna have a draw set alpha to see white. So wait what? Um sorry, draw set color to see white. And of course draw set alpha to one. And here's gonna be change this value to twenty uh, twenty-five. So I mean maybe four forty five, yeah. Alright, cool. So Let's see what else we need to do. Yeah, I think that's gonna look good. We can change things around if it doesn't work out. Alright, cool. Uh, looks a bit dodgy right now. Um, let's make this here 80. Yeah, so it requires a lot of trial and error and just tweaking it just to make sure it fits your game. And there you can see I'm kind of happy with that look. It looks a lot like Nuclear Throne. 
and because we put the depth to 999 you can see everything is blacked out as well so it looks really nice um, and it flickers yeah, you can see in fact you can even make it bigger if you want it's really up to you in fact if you want you can make like variables so it makes it real easy to tweak however I'm not gonna do that for the purpose of this tutorial yeah you know <laughs> it's really um, depends on your opinion so yeah thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you would like to maybe see a tutorial on this um, RPG game that I'm making Feel free to leave it in the comments. If you guys want any other tutorials that you want, like maybe like something from some other games, uh, I'll just make that up real quick. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.